Guys, what is up? It's Pilot Manny with the RC Plane Addict, a place where I get to share my passion and addiction for flying these beautiful RC planes. So today I wanna to talk to you about short field takeoff and landings. Um, we're not talking about stall, okay? Even though that's kind of what it means, but we're talking about like, what do you do if you join a club or you have a space that's wide open but the runway you have is actually really short. So what is short? We're talking like 300 feet and a little less. Um, 300 feet is a great size for like really dialing in your landing, um, you know, fields that are much larger than that, you know, where they're just football fields long. I mean, you have no worries in the world, but also, you know, you're also not really working on the finesse of putting that plane right in front of you. You could be, you know, walking all the way down the field to kind of retrieve your plane, even though you landed it beautifully, which is nothing wrong. But when you have a situation like this, I mean, it really puts your skill to the test. And not only that, but it dials in just the accuracy and the intention on where you want to put your plane, which to me is kind of a big deal, especially if you're flying planes like this. So this is the Avanti S. It's made by Freewing. It is an 80 millimeter model. And this bad boy is rocking a 4,000 milliamp hour six cell. So there is a lot of juice in this plane. Um, and with that being said, it flies very fast, but it also has the ability to be able to get off a grass, well manicured grass runway um, with a very short distance, but you have to know what you're doing. Also, you have to know how to put it down on a field that's really short. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through the steps and my thought process um, with this plane and how I kind of use what I have to be able to fly it safely and responsibly um, without, you know, obviously too much risk involved. I'm not gonna say without any risk because every time you fly these planes, well, you gotta put them down and there's always that chance that something could go wrong, whatever it may be. Anyways, let's get going. So let's talk about where do you stand? Okay, depending on which way the wind is blowing, um, you're gonna wanna position yourself properly. So right now the wind is coming from my left, which means I'm gonna be flying from right to left. And if you look in this direction, well, there isn't really much to do here. I mean, there's like a kind of like a lot of big open space for me to line up with, but I kind of got to put it down more or less within this area so that she can like roll out a little bit into the grass, right? So where do I stand? Okay, so the position that I want to stand in is either either the first position to the furthest right where um, my plane's going to be coming in or the second position. I personally like the second position. I don't want to be all the way at the end. Um, because if my plane is going to touch down at the very end, well, then I'm going to run out of run runway and, and, and hit the grass, which, which I've done before. Oh, God. So you don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, so stand there. Also, um, line yourself up so that your plane has as much runway to take off. For this field, I start all the way at the, at the start, all the way at the start. And then by the time it gets to me, I can see more or less if that nose wants to lift. And if it does, then I start to rotate and take it off the ground really slowly. Um, lastly, when I'm coming in for a landing, I gotta think, well, how level does my plane need to be? Where am I gonna drop my flaps? And usually what'll happen is I'll have a gear pass. Um, I'll go around um, knowing my gear is down and then um, I'll line myself out probably just over that gravel pit maybe a little bit before, and then um, I'll start decreasing my throttle down to 20%. I have my um, throttle settings on my, uh, excuse me, transmitter so that it clicks and I know where 20% is. And then I'll use that to kind of just glide myself down in a nose, slightly nose down attitude so that it still has speed. It's still holding the air, using rudder to kind of correct my um, left and right movements. And then just before I hit the ground, I give it a little flare to put it on the mains and then drop the nose. All right, enough talk. Let's fly this thing. So I'm gonna let it kind of initialize, do its thing. Got my little run cam on board, to kind of capture everything. Hopefully everything flies okay and balanced. I have it right on top of the CG, but it is off to one side. So I'm hoping everything will be all right. I haven't flown it yet, but this plane, this plane flies actually pretty good. Um, and it's really, really close to the CG there, like I said, on the side. So it's not like on the wingtip. So I'm not expecting too much of an adverse reaction 
Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, we are recording. So I am going to go um, all the way to the end here. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is I'm just giving myself as much runway as possible. Now, the uh, rule of thumb is if my plane does not want to rotate after three quarters of the field, I kill it. I abort and just drop the throttle, hopefully turn before it hits the, uh, the high grass at the other end. But this plane, like I said, has a lot of juice. I do not have to worry about that at all. <clears throat> all right everything looks good it's pretty lined up looking down the runway she's pretty straight all right let's get the remote and take her up i have four and a half minutes on my timer i know that sounds like a lot for a 4000 milliamp hour battery but honestly i don't use all four and a half minutes i kind of just fly it with i guess uh, a minute left on the so it's like three and a half when it comes down just in case I need to go back around in the last flight I did this I had maybe 30 seconds left and 18% left on the battery so I wasn't too terrible all right so take off flaps. flaps are down everything looks like it's twitching good throttle cut off. and my throttle cut is off um, Safe mode, normal mode. And I'm flying a normal mode. All right, so here we go. Going up. Full throttle. She takes right off. Gear up. Rotate my gear. Back it down to a quarter throttle. And yeah, she's flying great. Okay, so right away I saw that my um, ailerons were super twitchy, so I kind of switched into low rates. Time remaining, four minutes. Flaps up. I was flying with my flaps down, my landing flaps for a second, just to make sure that she was flying well, and she was. I picked my flaps up. Gains a little more speed. So if you are, um, again, new to a field, and you have a plane, and you want to just kind of practice your approaches um you know just running it down the field it's always a great idea i like to kind of just when i'm out there drop my flaps all the way um come around as if i would bring it down you heard that click that's 20 percent lining up down the runway and just as if i'm landing just come right down and if i can get it really really close flaps. Flaps up. to the ground um i'm sorry this plane is I feel like i'll be on your toes with it if you get it really close to the ground right in front of you on that approach then you're you're pretty good you're pretty good so you know I would say just keep practicing the approaches and um, you know yeah she's kind of she's kind of wanting to twitch on me from that that run cam that's okay though so again we're gonna try it again um, we're gonna line it up Take off flaps. I'm gonna drop my flaps all the way down Kind of bringing it around. There goes my 20%. I'm using my rudder to turn. Okay, everything looks good. Up. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what you want to keep doing. You know, um, you don't have to do touch and goes. That's not necessary. I feel like. Touch it goes really wear down on your um, on your gear. Time remaining two minutes. That was weird. All right, now I'm just having a little fun. No throttle. I love this sound. It's pretty cool. Okay. So there are two minutes left. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with 
my flying, although this, this plane has my heart pumping pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just keep it in pattern now from right to left. I'm gonna come back around, um, drop my gear. I'm gonna put landing flaps down just so I can slow myself a little bit. Excuse me, take off flaps, not my landing flaps. All right, so I'm in the pattern. My gear is coming down. Gear pass looks good. All right, we're gonna give it power into the turn. Again, my takeoff flaps are still down. There goes my minute timer. All right, so again, I'm lining myself up just like I practiced. Landing flaps. Landing flaps are down, a little wide, that's okay. Glide. And flare. Oop, oh no. Well, that wasn't, that was not pretty. Don't do that, people. All right, let's see what the damage is. So it looks like my nose came off, so that's okay. And a little bit of foam popped off. I'm not certain where that came from. So let's see. If I'm not mistaken, it kind of dug in on the nose a little bit. Yep. Yeah, right there. That's okay, a little hot glue. Not a big deal. So this is kind of like the weak point on this plane um, where, the, uh, where the nose meets the fuselage because you have this... Um, this area that's just it's all cavity so there isn't really much reinforcement but that's an easy fix so if I had to evaluate my landing on that one that that was obviously a terrible landing but it was terrible because I had a lot of speed and my flare just was kind of like uncontrolled when it hit the ground and it just kept wanting to lift off on me so um, yeah you got to slow down your plane. The good news is I was able to recover it and it didn't like, you know, have any other damage in that weak little nose area. <laughs> All right. I know that wasn't the best tutorial. What can I say? These things happen. But you know what? It, it, it goes to show you that, you know, no matter how many times you practice and try, even though you're like thinking things out and you know what to do, you know, the slightest miscalculation can, can, you know, obviously have a little bit of damage to your plane, especially on those weak points. And this plane does have a few flights on it. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not surprised that's, that that little area finally gave way, even though I've been pretty good with my landings. Hot glue, little popsicle stick for reinforcement. We we'll back in the air. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I wish that could have been better, but hey, I keep it real on this channel. All right, guys, I hope you like that flight. I um, <laughs> don't do what I did, but take my advice, you know, and, and just practice, practice, practice. And you know what? If something bad happens in the end, it's okay. It's okay. It's all part of the hobby. You're going to be all right. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me some suggestions and comments. Um, I want to hear it all. And uh, share with friends if they, you want to show off just how crazy Pilot Man he is with his, <laughs> with his videos. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.